Hello guys, welcome to my channel Do Delper. So in this video, we are going to see how we can fetch the text file from the Firebase and then extract the text out of that text file. Okay, I have two buttons here: this get text file and then get text from the file. Basically, so first, just let get the two buttons. Now, when we click on the get text file, basically, set on click listener, and when user click on get text from file dot set on click listener. So these are the two click listener, and in the click of those buttons, we are going to perform some operation. So first, we just need to create a Firebase storage ref. Reference. For that, we just need to simple use storage, or you can use Firebase storage completely. And in this, I am just use Firebase storage dot get instance. That's it. And then we have need to get a storage reference. For that, a storage ref variable I am going to do, and then Firebase storage dot have reference. Firebase storage dot have reference. That's it. Now, getting the reference of that text file, we just need to pass a text file name. That's it. And we get the text file reference. And uh, for that, we just need to storage ref dot child and for child we need to pass the path which is basically our this is the path because now we are in the child reference of the storage and inside that reference we have the first file which is the n app ideas that's it. on the click of get text file to perform some operation which is we have and text file ref dot download url dot add on click list of this listener and inside that listener we get the uri of that particular file if you think. this is basically the text file okay this is not the text this is the file and uh, if i show you by using the debugger here um, and take the debugger here now if i click on this now you see we are getting so this is our uri basically so you see authority fragment path with recovery scheme ssp uri string and we have this so uri string is basically this so if you open using if you open that uh, this link you get the text file you get to see this okay this is the text file basically the text inside the file now let's how we can get the text file here. So if you see here, this is our URI and we can't get this URI directly. I, I, I'm not sure, but I think we can't get this URI here. Okay. So we just need to make the URI from the levels we are getting in this. So like it dot query, we have this and uh, it dot uh, our host. We have a uh, file based storage dot google apis dot com and uh, we have our have in this encoded it like that. We create the URL from these and then text from the file. So this is how we are going to get the text file and a URL basically. So let's create a variable URL here. X file. We can create this. It is simple. HTTPS. This is this is. And now we have eight dot. So this is our text file URL. If you check this, then you can get this. From this URL, I am going to get the text after this. Okay. And for that, I'm... okay. Now let's uh, fetch the basic. Uh, now we have the text file URL. Now we need to fetch the text from the text file. Dispatches dot io and then launch it and uh, after that we just need to create a http client http client and which is of type ok http client and then we need to make a request which is using request dot builder and then we have to pass the url of that particular text file which is text file url and that's it then we just need to build it and we build it now we have the response variable in which we are going to get the http client dot new call request which going to execute it after this i'm gonna make the text plate in it where text simply just text from file which is our simple response sorry response body string and dot string that's it. and uh, now if i pass this text from file in our log cat window then you can see uh this is that i want text from url from file this i'm just gonna print it actually you can also show it in the text view if you want make it text view here also match parent wrap and inside this and uh, this of type orientation okay margin is basically so let's not get it that x file from file attack dot text which is basically our text from file and that's it now if i run this and see show you in the log that also it is running called completely get text from file and now you can see we get the error why because original only the original thread get created a view here you can touch it okay this is interesting why this is happening because we are doing this inside the I owe a dispatcher. We need to change the context here with context dispatchers dot me, and then inside that we just need to 
set up text we are going to i mean this is when this and see if we can get the log also out of this file then get this we are getting the text from the file in the locket also and in the text like you can make a, a basically you can also make this uh, as a scroll level thing but uh, it is also showing in this uh, let's you can see now you can see the google setting and tracking app because this is uh, my so yeah that's how we can uh, extract the text from the text file so if you like this video click like button if you have any feedback or anything just comment it below and just subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you never miss the update of my new videos which i'm going to upload in future and uh, see you in the next one bye bye